Okay, looks like I'm back. I'm not 100% sure. Am I back? Can you hear me again? Because OBS just had a few issues and needed to reconnect. Okay. Good to hear. Um, the whole game, I don't know. The early access version, the next build, um, hopefully this or next weekend. But before I really go into early access, I still need to figure out um, the whole um, legal stuff, taxes and all that stuff. But the idea is to um, release it in early access and then continue working on it. Kind of fill out the rest of the world. thing is, the game is not done yet, and if I were to go for a full release now, with most of the world being empty, um, then I would get complaints that most of the world is empty, and that you can play through the game in about 20 minutes or so. Um, but if I go into early access, I might have some people that um, are interested enough in it to buy it, have a look. And I can continue working on it, improve it, might even get some suggestions and stuff like that. So I think early access for Stuff like this is not a bad idea. Um, 
because at some point I need to get money for it. Not for myself, but more for people that give me money at the moment, like the government. They don't like me working on this if it doesn't pay off at some in some way. And that's why I need to release it somehow. Um, so that I can show them, okay, I have this released. And whoa, thunderstorm outside. Um, have this, and it's close. And have it released. And yep. So that I can show them and also put it in my um, um, CV and portfolio that I've published this game and I'm still working on it, still supporting it and stuff like that. And if I wait for it to be completely done, I might sit two more years on it, maybe. The other thing is, if I get some money in it somehow, then I might be able to hire someone. And um, if it's on, on Steam and Early Access, also get more eyes on it and maybe get donations, I don't know, to be able to finish it a bit faster then. Could all be wishful thinking, but um, it's kind of the idea. It's not just about the sales, it's more about the fact that um, the game is released, available on a platform that a lot of people use.
like I said, it's not really about the money. It's about um, having it released somewhat and um, have eyes on it. Don't expect any sales at all. Because I'm not good at marketing the game, so can't expect much. Yeah, kind of. And if I get maybe 100, 150 bucks out of in a year, then it's something I can still show them and show, okay, that's the game. You can buy it here. And then they might let me work on it still. And if it's even less, it's still the same, same situation. The other thing is it kind of has a bit has a bit more weight when you have your game published even if it's an early access just it's still published and if I can get it on Steam it's on Steam and I can put that on my channel and say okay I have this game on Steam and this is the game you can have a look at it and if you like what you see you can buy a version of it, stuff like that. It's also kind of a marketing tool. The other thing is, I also need that for myself. That's, I need to get this game out, out into the world. And then people look at it, people who I give, give keys to, um, maybe, um, will give me feedback. And I do have a bit of feedback at the moment, but for a quite old, older version of this. And I need to figure out what I need to do for, for um, game company or just myself getting this, the game on Steam. And um, I 
also need to make a new build that people can play. The big problem is that I'm, I'm not living in the US and I don't really have a budget. So I can't say, okay, I'm running with the game to conventions like PAX or stuff like that and show it to people because I'm living in Germany and we do have a few um, things like that, but not that big. And most of them are have a slightly different focus of what they want to do on the conferences here. Okay. Yeah, here I also need to do a lot. But I also, I'm not quite sure yet if I want to keep this area the way it is.
Was hier? Yeah, this is the problem that I'm dealing with here, that the um, this area, I don't really like the way it, it works with the terrain here. I mean, it's okay on this side, even though I think there might be an issue in here as well. Yeah, <laughs> there's a big issue here. Terrain goes through the, through the staircase here, so. Okay, if I flatten this here, I definitely need to work a bit on this side there, so, and I also need to expand this side. This way. me here right yeah no it still doesn't help me there mm, nope 
Yeah, okay, I need to figure this out. Hello, how are you? Sure. I've been working on this game for about two years, so you might have stumbled across the stream at some point. Otherwise, I'm not sure. Could also be the case. Yeah, the problem is that if I want to have the road connected to the next map, then I need to paint a lot of area there because the world is, um, consists of tiles here that kind of next to each other here. So if I go here. This is another part of the world. And if I wanted to connect the road here, I would need to create road with the same parameters in this map and try to connect it as close as possible. Yeah, 
Yeah, I could also do that. But in this case, it kind of works. I can just put a roads uh, spline here for the road and then paint over the gap and then it should be fine. Still need to figure out why this damn bridge here is sticking to the terrain, even though I told it not to, but I haven't created this blueprint, so I'm not quite sure how it works. Yep, definitely. Okay, just notice that I need to move these lanterns over to another level. Um, this is the level they go into. And they are in this level here, yeah. Oh yeah, that's another thing I need to deal with at some point as well if I want to publish my game on Steam. Tackle the SDK. Kind of forgot about that. Um, I tried that. <laughs> um, at some point I tried to do that and it didn't 
to work for me at all. Kind of clashed too much with the idea I had for the game. I think I still have this somewhere here. Let me, let me see. And here I have kind of the world map and then different areas. For instance, this would be the start cave. Problem is it's crashing now because the level that I had there is no longer available. But I kind of didn't like this because it kind of felt wrong to me in some way. Yeah, okay, I could do this as well, yeah. But I kind of like the the ability to... I like the open world aspect. That's a big part of the game for me. So that you can look at mountain... You can climb that mountain, you can look back at the location you were before, and you can look around and see other locations, maybe just glimmer in the distance, or a light or something like that, and you can walk towards it and run around and explore. 
that's kind of what I want to have in that game. I know it's a lot of work and I shouldn't have done it, but I started it and now I want to continue it and at some point finish. Just the aspect that I can see the mountain there and I can run over to it, try to climb it. In this case, not climb it, but run up it. Run up the side here somehow and then look around here. Then I see a town, or on this side, I see some farms or a building way back there. Nice. What kind of game are you working on? Might have been in your stream at some point, about, but I forgot. Sorry about that. <laughs> Too much in my game and my world here. Interesting. Okay, why is it not loading this area here? It's loading the area around it, but not this one. Don't. Nice. Congrats. Um, I mean, what you could do is yeah, kind of create um, the UMG somewhere in the world. And then put a um, screen capture 2D on it and put this on the texture on the monitor. I 
Not quite sure how far you can go with um, completely 3D. Um, I think it should be possible, yeah. I mean, they did it in, in Unreal Engine 3, UDK and stuff like that. So it should be possible to just put um, your eye element into the world somehow. Let's have a look. Should be different modes that you can select here. Pause menu. I thought there was something like you can select the um, the way it's displayed. Okay. And like I said, I haven't done it myself yet. Um, not really, because, um, m most people don't look at the title, um, that much. I can, it, it would be better if it were on the, on the overlay somewhere. Um. But in the title, it's kind of hidden sometimes. Especially if you have people that watch on, on mobile, they mostly don't see the title. So if you want to put up a day counter, put it up in an overlay somewhere. I just mostly do that for myself so that I know, okay, it's that specific day and kind of also for YouTube so I can upload it and then, <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I have an overlay that um, kind of hides my taskbar here, so and also does the scrolly thing here, which doesn't always uh, say what I'm doing directly, but, and also these two things. 
and this here that I just edit because I like the program. <laughs> I mean, you don't see my face, so <laughs> not not sure which one is, is better in that regard. Okay. Yeah, and I know someone who um, was streaming on Twitch, um, creative, but then through the company he worked for, um, kind of moved over to, to Mixer completely because he got sponsor deals and a lot of stuff there. But mostly because in the company he worked, they worked a lot of, with uh, Microsoft and he had a lot of contacts there. And as for the overlay, um, I didn't create that myself. Um, a friend of mine did that for me. Still need to figure out to kind of add stuff to it. Nice. Um, do you have a link for the preview page on Steam? Or the Steam page. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's something I need to figure out myself at some point. Okay. Thank you for the subscription there. On YouTube. Thank you. Even though... Wait. Let me check something. Oh, thank you for the cheer. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, okay. For me, I just need to f figure out the steps um, before even getting to Steam. So 
that's something I need to figure out first. <laughs> okay, have fun. I might do that, yeah. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, for my stuff, I just need um, it's a single player game, so I don't really need any server stuff, any matchmaking, lobbies, stuff like that. It's all not needed. So I think I just need the overlay and community access in that regard kind of yeah yep might do that. When are you streaming? At what time usually? Hello, I'm fine. <laughs> A bit tired, but that has nothing to do with the number of days there. It has more um, to do with the fact that I got up at six o'clock in the morning today. I think I will stop here for today because I fixed the terrain. I just need to fix a few things on a few areas here. Let's have a look. It's, not, it's just um, select all levels. Um, not yet. I'm working on it. <laughs> I had some terrain issues and that set me back a few days, but I'm working on it. Uh, 
Um, should be up soon. Not quite sure how soon, but soon. The idea is kind of to have it either this weekend or next weekend, depending on how much stuff I have to deal with otherwise. And how fast I can get through the things I still want to do before I do the next build. This one should run a bit better than the one before that, I think, I hope. Let's call it that way. Let's call it hope. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it should run a bit better. Just because of the fact that... Um, I'm working with this world com composition system now and should unload parts of the terrain that we don't need. That's why I'm running backwards. So I want to see when, when the terrain is disappearing there. And that is gone. Okay, now we have a mountain in the way. And now that is also gone. So when we are at the brewery, here the town shouldn't be loaded and all this area back there shouldn't be loaded. But what I still need to do is um, set up LODs so that we still see the mountains, but the level itself is not loaded properly. We just see mesh that looks like the area and don't have holes in, in the big mountain area as a result. I think tomorrow I will go through the next area here, do the roads, um, remove the grass under houses, remove the grass under the fields, and fix up those things here. And then after the roads, I will do um, fences, walls, and stuff like that. And then plant the trees again. Because at the moment we don't have any trees. I also need to figure out this strange river tool thing here. Not 
looks a bit better now. Oh, but we're in unlit mode. Yeah, that's the issue here that I don't like about it. The re reflection is way too high. Because this river here, um, the river kind of works, even though the the flow map is not existing at all. But it doesn't really work for the lake here. Looks a bit strange. The other issue is this this year that I have gaps in here because. I need to kind of tile them together the same way as I do the other tiles. Which reminds me. Let's jump in here and do this. Except that road path there. And once I'm back to the state that I was in at some point, um, I will make a new build. And then expand on that. But like I said, it shouldn't be that long. I mean, the last build is from September last year, so it's quite old comparison. So I need to um, make sure that I need kind of a weekly build. If not that, then at least a monthly build. But like I said, I want to get it to a specific point first. I can say, okay, now we can create a new build and I can present that to people again. Yeah, but, it, but I said earlier, um, I am tired today and I need to stop here because I'm kind of falling asleep while sitting here. So um, I will be back tomorrow. Not quite sure if I managed to get up um, to stream a bit earlier. Um, maybe no guarantees and then yeah on friday i need to get up early again so it won't be that long as today 
but I'm not sure I might put in a stream on the weekend, but also no guarantees on that. For game dev stream. So, okay. See you then. Bye bye.